Hi. Hello. Hello, you. Can I get a picture? Well, I'm about to discover, in typical Euro fashion, something has gone terribly wrong. Okay, all right, so now I've uh, shifted into reverse to back up to look at something, and now the bike won't get into forward. I've adjusted the forward reverse lever uh, so that basically I'll have no more reverse, but it's as far forward as I can go to get it into forward. At least that's something. So let me start it up, see what we got. Uh, this fucking bike is fucking killing me. Alright, there we go. Keys in, ignition's on, clutch is in, starting. Okay. Oops. See, it's in neutral. Well not. Not get into forward. Not as pulled as hard and as far as it'll go. The bike will not get into forward gear. Just reverse. What the fuck? What a fucking piece of shit. Now I gotta fucking back up two miles or something to the highway to find a fucking tow truck and have this piece of fucking shit towed. What the fuck? Alright, so backing up. On the road, you pig. Alright, so here I am backing up the bike to the highway. So you can see the highway is. Probably well, we've got to be about a mile, a mile and a half. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing, backing up the bike. See? Good times with the Ural. Okay, there's the highway getting a little bit closer. It's probably gonna take me about, I don't know, 20 or 30 minutes. It's uh, 5.22 right now. Backing up. I was getting a little closer. I think it's been about 15 or 20 minutes backing up now. And uh, yeah, it's a good thing this didn't happen 21 miles up the road where I found out that the road into uh, Death Valley was closed. Backing up 21 miles at basically a light jog speed. Be a few hours for sure. So, the fucking piece of shit is definitely getting destroyed. Oh man, oh man. Hey, I wonder if anybody's ever driven to Argentina going backwards on a Euro. Huh, that would be a first. Or maybe that's what that Herbert guy is doing or whatever. That's why it's taken him 12 years to get to where he's at. I don't know. But anyhow, I think I'm getting close to the highway. Yeah, fucking piece of junk. And after a lot more neck-wrenching reversing, I finally make it to the main highway. Okay, so I made it back literally to the highway and uh, now I'm gonna flag somebody down see if maybe I don't know somebody can give me a push and maybe see if we can get this thing to jump into forward I don't know while I'm pulling on the lever if not then it's call a tow and then that's where the bike will will die thankfully I'm able to flag down some riders that are more than happy to hear my story and help me get a tow truck to tow this piece of crap to 
with the Wreckers. Hey, man. How's it going? Good. What's up? Uh, this fucking piece of shit is stuck in fucking reverse. In reverse? In reverse. I backed fucking three miles or two miles from there. And I saw a coyote, so I stopped the fucking bike. Mm -hmm. Right back up. Oh, fuck. And I watched him for a little while, videotaped him, and then fucking going to forward. It's like, what the fuck? You gotta be fucking kidding. No. Is it a. Uh, I'm trying to like the but anyway. It's a year old piece of shit. I knew it was a year old. Yeah. It's no, it's not. No, I mean, no. No, I'm no, so no. sorry. No, like, I'm, no, so I'm so actually going to have it crushed. I'm so, oh. I started at the Arctic Ocean. I'm trying to drive to the Antarctic, and this thing is oh. just a fucking, fucking nightmare. So it's just, just it's just a shifter, right? So this is normally reverse, right? About oh. here? Yeah, normally reverse, right about here. The only thing I can think of is that, you know, if we push it while I'm trying to pull it into, into forward, that, you know, I don't a know. A little, like, cog will force it and get, I mean, because right now it's only going reverse, that's it. Yeah, I guess. You want to rock it back and forth or push yeah. it forward? Yeah. So, uh, what, what can we push on? There's racks. Now it's in. Okay, now it's, so it's going backwards. It really needs to be going forward. Right, forward. forward. Like, so push forward. forward. It's sure. a shift lever? Push it? Yeah, push forward. Oh, yeah, just gently release on the clutch. Okay, neutral. It does not want to go. The clutch like, is in, so it should be easy to roll. Right. Right? It's just stuck. Yeah. Is that, is that a safety in there? What safety? Is it like, is there a safety if you're in reverse and you throw it, like you got the engine up and you throw it in the first? Is that like a safety going on? I don't think so. I mean, we can offer to help call a tow truck or something. Yeah, if you could. Yeah. Do what? Uh, do you have anyone? Do you have like a like specific Bain. insurance or anything? Uh, no, I'll just pay cash. Uh. At least reverse somewhat worked and you didn't get stuck 21 miles down. Oh, fuck. I was thinking about that as I was backing <laughs> up. I was like, fuck, can you imagine if that happened at the roadblock? Backing up 21 miles? Fuck, that'd be like four hours at least. That, that probably, you're probably doing about six or seven miles an hour. <laughs> right? Because you can't, it's not like you can fucking haul it in reverse. Well, it's too bad you didn't find more knowledgeable bikers than us. Oh, no, man. <laughs> you, know, it, you know, it has nothing to do with knowledgeable bikers. It has everything to do with a bike that is completely fucking unreliable. So, you were at home and you're like, eh, I don't want to take a crappy bike to... No, no, actually, the reason why I got this bike is because... It's an interesting bike and people want it. It looks cool. Exactly. People but want I mean, to talk I'm, to I'm wondering what led you to, to decide to go Arctic to Antarctic. Uh, well, I've wanted to do that for a few years. I mean, I've oh, done yeah. some long distance trips before. Like I drove a oh, truck yeah. to Panama and back. I drove an old CB650 Honda to Guatemala and back. And, well, you know, so I figured, okay, yeah, you know what? I'll do top to bottom. And, uh, you know, pick something where it's like, it's older technology, so, you know, you, no matter where you are in El Salvador or wherever, you fix it. They, well, you can find somebody with some bailing wire and fucking duct tape. So there's a, something cash. There's yeah, a couple just, you can choose from. <laughs> just any of them, dude, I don't really yeah. fucking care. This first just tell, you got enough to tell them it's a Ural. Do you so want I can, yeah, it's so a motorcycle with a sidecar. Yeah, so that means it's gonna need a flatbed and pulled up under the flatbed. They advertise it as a heavy duty, you know, Russian made, built like a tank, off road. It's fucking junk. You've, you've at least got a good setup going on here. Well, all the shit that I put on is fucking good. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All the shit from Ural is fucking shit. It's the definition of adventure, huh? Yeah, well, unfortunately, there's just way too many. It's, in my opinion, fucking idiots who think that, you know, being broken down all the time is part of the adventure. <laughs> and it's fucking not. No. <laughs> right? That's the pauses and the adventure. One or, yeah. one or, one or two of those in the trip can be, can be interesting. Absolutely. Make it interesting. Yeah. But, but like, it's not fucking every 50 daily. miles. <laughs> it's fucking daily, man. I'm telling you. All right. See you guys later. Thanks again. See ya. All right. Ride safe.
So that was three riders who stopped because my cell phone has no coverage here at this spot. So they stopped to give me a hand, see if we could get it into forward, which we can't. So we call the tow truck. That's gonna cost me 380 bucks. I'm going to some Topanga or something, some town 56 miles from here. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's where the bike's being towed. And basically that's gonna be the end of the life of the bike, right? Because I'm completely done with it. So that's it. Now I'm waiting here for, well, they said they dispatched the tow truck in an hour. So now I just wait here. So this is to the Ural company. The fact that this bike has been so unreliable, uh, final drive failures, U-joint failures, brake failures, uh, clutch failures. What's that? Uh, one is not. Got fuel in it. Yeah. We gotta take that off. Okay, fair enough. You got a lock on there. Uh, yeah. Um, where the fuck are the keys? Uh. I'm ripping off the exit Sure. Yeah, I'm really gonna do it, Craig. Really, really, really. Alright, last chance. No, nope. let's crush it. Alright. Yep. And yeah, like I was saying to the Ural company, the fact that you guys are misleading the public and providing a highly priced, poor quality adventure bike that clearly can't withstand the rigors of actual off-roading um, and has left me stranded countless times uh, thousands of dollars in repairs and towing and everything else uh, and now that the bike is stuck in reverse which I had to back out of uh, Death Valley two or three miles or whatever it was and backing up the bike See? good time for the Ural yeah I'm done with it done with this product Can I stand over there so this way I can film it? Oh, stand up there? Okay, all right, walk it up. Where can I stand? You're not gonna see it, you're gonna close that. Thing. Right. Stand up there, okay. Turning it into a cube. So, it should be a nice square shape for you, Van Lee. You want to come and get it, buddy? It's all yours. Fucking tires. Yeah. The fucking tires exploded. Exciting.
helicopters possessed. Like what a fucking, I mean, even in fucking death, right? What a fucking hunk of junk. Now, based on my experience with the Ural, this is a pretty fitting end to it because it probably would have done this to me on the road the way that it's performing. So, uh, goodbye, Ural. Motorcycles can truly give you that sense of freedom. However, if you're having problems with your motorcycle, it can begin to feel like a boat anchor. That thing may have been possessed, for all <laughs> yeah. we know. Ron does say that he believes that this bike became a safety issue for him as well. He didn't want to pass the bike off to somebody else and sell it to somebody and give them the headache. So that's why he chose to go down this route in such spectacular fashion. All right, so here I am back at Scotty's Junction, which was the place that the Ural had to back up to so that the tow truck could meet it and ultimately end in the crusher. So I'm here with the Africa Twin, now named Crusher, <laughs> and this is where I'm going to continue with my trip to Argentina. Traveling out.